What's up guys, Black Horse here and welcome back to another video and still back on Pro Stack Manager 2020 for yet another classic in the 2020 season. Uh, we are going to go over the game for um, the first classic of the um, Flanders treble. I guess it's how it's called, the Flanders hat trick, I do not know. Uh, I know I've missed the last two uh, classics. I think I've missed um, the um, OxyClean classic Bruges de Pan. Uh, and I've missed A3, which I think was yesterday. Actually, what time is it? Let me take a look. Uh, it's 4.14. So it was two days ago. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. Uh, I just didn't have the time, if I'm going to be honest. Um, so I decided to at least go for the game. Go it is a staple in the uh, classics world will then have the ronde sadly we won't have power this year unless something drastic happens in the upcoming weeks uh, but looks like the um the french government uh isn't really keen on letting it happen uh because lockdown and covid and that however in like lighter news and everything uh we're going to take a look at the start list and at first i was going for ua like christophe Trentin, right? Two good sprinters. Uh, Christophe is a former winner, I believe, of the um, of Gonville game in 2019, I'd say. I think 2019. Last year was, yeah, well, last year was Matt Patterson. Also, this start list doesn't have Trek, obviously, uh, because they got, um, well, they, they announced their retirement for, for, or their withdrawal from the race due to a, a rider contracting uh, symptoms of COVID, I think. I'm not sure if he actually has COVID or not. Um, but yeah. So UAE was my pick, but I know I'm going to use them later than the, later this month, or later this, or in the upcoming 31 days, I guess. Um, so that rules them out. Uh, I thought about Kubeka Asos, um, but actually I had planned them. I had planned on taking Idzolo on uh, on on San Remo, and I forgot about him. So that's a nail on my end. But I mean, Fidu Gilbert was there, um, and at the last second I was going to go for Ashadouza. However, you've seen the title, probably seen the thumbnail. I'll go Bahrain. Why? Sure, they got Colbrelli, they got Heinrich Hausler, they got Marco Haller. But I don't care about them. They got the boy. They got the king, the legend, Chun Kai Feng. Now, if, if you're just watching this video as like a one off and you don't know me, you're probably hella confused right now. But Chun Kai Feng is a channel legend. I did a Baron career mode like two years ago, and everyone wants me to sign him in every, every time I do a career mode. So, for once, he's on a world tour race, I'm repping my boy from the Chinese Taipei, also known, also known as Taiwan. We're bringing Chun Kai Feng to the top of cycling. <laughs> All right, it appears that Chun does not want me to um, perform with him today. Minus three for the legend. Ah. Also, we have like the 2021 parkour. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I think Barna made it. Uh, so big, big shout out to the man. I was actually gonna like record on the 2020 version. Um, and I just like had a last second epiphany and decided to check if a version had been made. And to my surprise, there was. So that's why we've got a 2021 uh, race today, 255 kilometers in this Gonville game, as we've already got some attacks, Jauk Bauer. Uh, Leonardo Basso, Sebastian Mora. I'd like to get Chun in the front, but I'm not sure Chun will have the legs to do so. Um, all right. I mean, let me take a look at the profile later on. We got like, is it me or are the hills like closer to the end? Actually, whether that would be 35 kilometers, I think that's it. There's there's a couple sector that usually there isn't. All right, that's a new one. Uh, Heinrich has a very good day. I'll count on Heinrich, Colbrelli, and Halle today. Uh, obviously, sentimentally wise, of um, I, I mean, I'll go for Colbrelli and, and Hausler. I think Marco Halla would be like here to help. Same for Marcel Siag, same for Phil Uh Jonathan Millen or Milan. I'm not sure he's gonna do anything. Um, and Shun, I'll protect him obviously because he's the boy. Actually, Milan can protect him, I think. But I'm not expecting anything from uh, our leader from Taiwan. So we're taking a look at the start list to see um, where like my riders could end up uh, and basically how the race could pan out. I'm very surprised to learn that Alpes and Phoenix did not bring Mathieu Van Epple to the race. 
I mean, sure, it's not exactly a race that re that, that suits his um his style. I mean, to be fair, does he have a style? I guess his style is just like if there's some sort of elevation, I will fuck you up. Um, but now I'm trying to like even think of how this race is going to work in real life because you're gonna have teams working obviously for their sprinters, right? Uh, I could probably see UAE being one of the teams doing so. Probably bike exchange as well. Um, who could do that? I mean, Dukelank on paper could, because they've got fast guys, but I'm not sure they'll wait for the sprint. Kofidis, with a very informed Christophe Laporte right now, will most likely do that. Potentially, Groupama with Demar. But then you've got teams that can't really rely on a sprint. For me, the main iteration of that right now would be Bora Hansgrohe with Nils Politz, because I'm not convinced Pascal Ackermann can make the stage uh, in the hills with the first group. Uh, potentially like a movie star if, they, if they're planning on Garza Cortina. Van Marke for Israel Startup Nation definitely cannot wait for a sprint. Um, and even some could say Aja Dozer Citroën. With the likes, I mean, Van Avermaet and Nazen are quick. Are they quick enough to defeat someone like Christoph in a sprint? Or even about Van Aert? I don't know. So this could go either way in the tactics. It could go like as an attack. But if, if attack there is, then where? Where could that be? I'm very confused right now. Also, I'm, my brain isn't exactly fresh. I've been awake for uh, 16 hours now. Yeah, 16 hours. It's when I said 4.13, sorry. It's a.m., right? Not p.m. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even trying to make that much noise because there's people sleeping near me. But uh, we move content before sleep in it. Uh, also, breakaway time. Let's take a look at uh, who we've got. We've got Yellow Wallace for Coffee Dis. We've got Luig Vliegen, who's I think had a crash on the... Was it the downhill of the Poggio? Cipretta on the, on the uh, latest Milan de San Remo. I can't remember. Um, also, Jasper Stoven won Milan de San Remo. That was odd. Nico Dens for DSM, Sebastian Mora for Movistar, Scott Thwaites for uh, Alpes in Phoenix, Jack Bauer for uh, 24 hours, Bob Perry for Astana, Andre, Andre Amador is in the breakaway. Wowzers. Are they going for Dylan Von Barler? Yes. No, wait, no Thomas Peacock? I guess it's not, like, tough enough for him. Is that the first couple sector? Okay, it is. I'll make sure we uh, be well placed in the peloton. Uh, we've got Marit for uh, Top Sport, Benjamin de Clerc for Arkea, uh, Leonardo Basso for uh, Ineos as well. And I think I've covered anyone, everyone, sorry, in the breakaway, uh, breakaway two, and, two and a half minutes, sorry, in the lead over the peloton. Uh, and everything is fine, except for Dylan Vavala, who's having a puncture at the tail end of the uh, group. There's also been a crash involving, I think that's Peter Van Spebro. That's Yves Lampart. Yves Lampart has crashed. Yves Lampard will most likely come back. Right, we've got the first uh, few hills of this parkour, starting with the uh, Videgneberg. I don't know, Videgne would be French. The Videgneberg. Um, it's not exactly tough. I believe we'll be uh, able to make this without too much complications. I'm, once again, in unfair difficulty. Um, I've really tried to like, make the full transition towards uh, unfair. I might like... I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest, right? For the Ronde, I won't. For the Ronde, I'll most likely in hard, I'll be in hard difficulty. Because, like, even in normal, I'm going to struggle. So I'll, I'll, I'm not even going extreme for the Ronde. I can't, I can't lie. I'm sorry, lads. Uh, but yeah, I'm saying unfair. I'll see how it goes. Um, the first hill has gone decent. Second one is the Monteberg, coming up very soon, uh, with a max of 12%. So I'm going to make sure that uh, Big Heinrich is well placed. Same for Chun Kai Feng, who's already losing a couple of positions, which is not ideal. Uh, Yves Lampard is back in the first group. Also something I've noticed, which uh, surprised me, Kasper Azrin, who just won the E3 Rebec in a very impressive fashion yesterday, or two days ago, uh, is not a part of uh, De Canonk's start list ahead of this Granville game, which is surprising to my eyes. So, yeah, I, I, I don't really know what you make of that. Uh, also, we, we've got the Kamelberg coming up, uh, I believe, in the left-hander. Uh, that's, like, there. Uh, I'll just put my guys at a higher rhythm, because I don't want them to get dropped. There we go. And I believe things should go smoothly, as there's a puncture for Mikael Shadow, teammate of Oli Nazen and uh, Greg Van Avema. All right. Uh, a couple of, of um, riders got um, separated from the first group uh, ever since the... Uh, oh, sorry. Since the, uh, the Kamelberg including Chun Kai-Feng. 
Yes, I'm, I know. I'm aware, right? People are sad. This is a very sad day. Um, but he might come back. Hi, there's quite a lot of riders dropped. Uh, Matteo Trentin, for instance, in Swan is one of these riders. Adrien Petit as well. Stan de Wulf. Some decent riders on um, on the cobbled terrain. John Degenkolb, from a winner of Power Bay, is well dropped. I think I saw Flan Vermeer. Uh, quite a couple of important guys. Already in A2. Uh, I, I might expect them to come back later on. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they were to do so. But it's never a great thing because they're already chasing and therefore using more energy than someone like Colbrelli or Hausler, respectively protected by Marcel Seberg and Marco Haller. When the... Um, was that? Is that the camel bag again? Well, if it is, uh, I'm, I've been, I'm being hella blocked. Or hella blocked. No, not blocked. But I'm losing a lot of position on like track position. Which is not ideal. Hopefully, I can come back and not get dropped. Um, no, 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 no. I need to maintain uh, peloton. I can't go into like A1 or something. Uh, all right, increase the rhythm. Hopefully, I can make this. Hopefully, I can make the like front end of this group, uh, which is exactly like what I need right now. All right, good. Is is E2 still a breakaway or not? Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Could be much, it could have been much worse. Uh, also, it appears that Shungai Feng is now not going to come back. Therefore, my, uh, my disappointment is somewhat massive. Not to say immense. And you know what would make me less sad or less disappointed? Would be if you were to subscribe to the channel. If uh, you were to enjoy my content, right? That'd be nice. Because 65% of views aren't subscribed to my channel. And I'm going to reach 2,000. This could be a win-win situation, right? It's free if you, you can change your mind later on. Up to you, in it. 37 kilometers left, though. And right now, what's up to me is if I want to win or not. Now, this is an interesting situation here because we've got 30k left and no one's really pacing. I mean, I've got four riders. I'm going to see some attacks, I'm guessing. The likes of Luke Mesketch being one of the first ones to, to move. Uh, where Von Art immediately follows. What's the general consensus in the peloton? I'm gonna guess, yeah, like Trentin is gonna work, which makes sense. I mean, he's got his leader with him. Sam Bennett is still there. God, I hate this man. I hate his. I hate him so much. You have no idea how much I hate him. Final well, couple sector of this Grand Vevel game. It's not a sector that usually uh, is there. I'll just make sure to pace uh, to prevent any. Um, mental attacks, I'll say. Uh, we did have some attacks, but at least I was in the front of the group. That's good. Uh, now it's damage limitation until the sprint. Uh, and even if I want to go for Heinrich Hausler, I know that if I want a shot at winning, I have to go for Marka. So for um, Nicole Brady, sorry. So Hausler's my lead out as we've got some more attacks. Polit, Nazen, Krafanesen, and Von Barle, the riders I've mentioned, uh, I've aforementioned, sorry, um, that. Count not on the sprint, but on the side before that. 16k to go. And Nazan has counter-attacked solo. But uh, his move isn't really going any further. Right, for now, this is a tough finish. Uh, we've got Stefan Kung right now with Arnaud Demar. We've got a couple of guys ahead. Is that two riders from Major Desert? I said earlier that, like... Actually, wait, no. I probably cut that because I changed my my, uh, my intro. But I was saying that, like, Major Desert has a very decent chance at doing something great if they play smart tactically which is not something they're good at but right now they might have just done what they should have done a lot of riders still have a bike exchange i'm guessing that's for michael matthews but still three teammates with the aussie a very decent performance from um, a team who's having a resurgence in form right now the likes of esteban chavez as well doing very well in the uh, volta catalonia that's very nice to see uh, but hopefully we can now come back on greg van avermaet who seems to have finished his job at the front uh, Heinrich is slowly but surely trying to come back on the group of four. Can Philippe Gilou add another line to his plan arrest? Can Oli Nazen do something? Dylan Van Barle though doesn't count on the sprint. Ajudzer has been dropped. That is the most Ajudzer thing, thing I've seen in like recent times. There you go. Stefan King starts his effort for uh, Arnaud Demar. Seemed logical. 3k to go. Son is going to need to like um, rely on the support of others try and carry him towards something here. If I want to do something with Sonny, uh, I have to count on someone else. But you know what? I think the breakaway is winning. I think the breakaway has got this. It's Philippe. Philippe Gilou. Wait, no. No. 
No Philippe again. He's out of stinker. Gilbert is out of stinker again. It's the win for Nazan ahead of Philou. Colbrad in third. Van North Philipsen, Matthews, Demar, Christophe, Boll, and Van Barle. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. I thought Philippe Gilou had it. But he just collapsed in the last 100 meters. He's launched, He's launched too early. He's launched too early. Oli Nazan gets the win there. I mean, good tactic from Ajo Dada. Very decent tactics. They've done what they have to do, which is try to ride as a team and not as a team with, well, I mean, with a team with one leader and teammates and not two leaders that don't help each other. Congratulations, Ajo Dada. And congratulations, Oliver Nazan. And Oli Nazan adds his first uh, ever Cobalt Classic, I think, to his Palmares. Uh, he's won two Bretagne Classic. And I think that's his first ever cobbled one ahead of Philippe Gilbert and Cold Brady, who wraps up the podium. I didn't really talk about it, but I mean, it's still a decent performance. Um, I was the, the, the strongest in the peloton, at least from what I can say, um, which in, in a way kind of like makes me regret not having um, pushed a bit more towards um, like in the final 15 kilometers to try and bridge or maintain the gap to, um, uh, to a lesser extent with the group ahead. But Nazan played how he should have. Um, kudos to Jaja Dezer for being smart. 74 sprints, he's, he's managed to pull it ahead of, uh, of Philippe very well. Uh, we come in third place, as I said, not bad. Ahead of the likes of Wout Van Aert. His stats are horrendously good. This is unreal. I could, realistically, I could make a series where I try to, like, win a grant with Van with, with Aert. I'm going to add this to my ideas. Hold up. Then we've got Jasper Philipsen in fifth place, Michael Matthews, Demar, Christophe Kiesbel, and Gillian Van Barle. Obviously, Van Barle being here from the breakaway. Um, but the rest kind of went as I expected it. Um, most of the peloton trying to go for the sprint, and the riders, or the teams that didn't have um, a fast enough rider sending someone um, to, to go for a for like a Hail Mary towards the end. I expected to have more help from um from the Peloton though. When you see someone like back exchange having four guys, yet none of them based. Um yeah, I feel like I could have been uh, better played by uh, some of the teams, some of the AI. I guess that's also unfair for you. It just makes you do the work. And if you take an L that's on you. Uh Anrich in 22nd, Hala in 25th, where did Shun finish? Let's take a look. Top hundred? No. 114th? Look, he's ahead of Yellow Van Ander. He's ahead of a guy who's won stage on the Tour de France. Isn't that a win? I think so. I mean, for me, it is. So yeah, big up Strun Kai Feng. Big up Soli Uh However, this is where we're going to wrap up this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you didn't, please, please do leave a like down below. If you're new on here and want to see more of my content, then please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the very near future. My name is Guillaume. I have been Blackwall. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. All them other man need feeding. I don't want to go bombie. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bass. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.